man or a woman or an uncle, any belief which has this system that God becomes something of his creation, you know in your own intellect, on your own reasoning, intelligence that God has given you, that, that belief system, there's something wrong with it. Why? Why? Because, because to become a rat, God, who is all-powerful, absolute, becomes a rat, and you can kill the rat like this? That's silly, silly. Likewise, God becomes a man or a woman, and you can kill them. It's, a, it's, it's really some belief that is not making sense here. 20 years you've been yeah. apart. So when you, okay, you're constantly challenging Christians. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason he doesn't talk to you. He's there is a reason we don't trust you. And now we're challenging you. You are free to respond. Stop shouting over the children. So I'm asking you again. So your Quran is not You're introducing Christianity to these children. If God becomes a potato in some belief and somebody eats the potato in their salad, we have killed the Would you say that was God? Jesus, the son of Mary. Let's come to this decision. Now he's running away. Now he's running away. Why are you running away? No, no. Why are you running away? Why are you running away? Because why are you running away? Perhaps I can learn from this young man. I want to learn from this. Why are you afraid? Right? Okay. Why are you so now you tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Why? So, um, don't record children, by the way. So, if God becomes a banana in some belief, and people, a monkey eats this banana, you would say that cannot be God, would it? Listen, this can be overwhelming for a child, you know? Yeah, that's why we're saying that. It's not right. I'm looking yeah, back here. Yeah. I was it's just saying that. He's on camera as well. Yeah, he's so take your son out of here, man. No, no, he shouldn't be on camera. He's, he's not in camera. He shouldn't be on there. Take that child out of here. I, I, I know, told him. It's too much of a woman. You don't know what's going on. I told them. No, no, no. I told them. I told them. You're right. You're right. You're not going to be on camera. I told them. I told them. Come on, son. I tried to. That's the mother. I told them. It doesn't matter. It does matter. I'm looking at the answer. You can ignore the mother. You're going to say, Mr. Lindsay, you're going to say, Mr. Lindsay, you're going to say, I told them. I told them. No, no, no. When you go home, I and when you sit down, do you pray? Yeah, pray the mass. So that, yeah. You are the one. Then you know when you say Allah Akbar. Do you know what that means? Greatest, meaning there cannot be anyone greater than God. No one's going to record him. It means no one's greater than God. God is greater than every creation. I'm speaking to a Muslim child who is with. with him. Um, I don't care, I don't care what this wrong. I'm trying to learn from this child. He's a young man. That's your problem. So when you realize, when you pray, when you say Allahu Akbar, you know there's nothing greater than God. That means anyone who says God becomes less. He becomes a potato, a banana, a man or a woman or a rat or a squirrel. That's not God. Because God is all powerful. You know what all powerful means? He has all the power. No one has power more than God. So if God has all the power, can anyone kill God and overcome him? It's impossible. So any belief system that invites you in a private discussion, like we had an earlier with, with you had a, a discussion with someone who is what, what, 50 years old, maybe, having a private discussion with a child. I mean, that's why I was concerned. I didn't know the mother was around. Okay, you cannot have a private discussion with children here. Have a public discussion if they're interested. So it is important to question this belief. How can you believe that God dies? God can be killed. How can you believe God is born from a woman? Can you give birth to God? It doesn't make sense, does it? Allah is the one who created everything. Can anyone create Allah like him? Of course not. Because Allah is the creator, everything else is the creation. So Jesus Christ or Isa ibn Maryam, in our belief, Islam, he was a prophet of Allah, a messenger of Allah, and he has been abused by some people by saying he is God and son of God. We need to tell them that you are insulting our prophet. You are insulting our God by saying his prophet has become God with, along with him. That is an insult. So if 
the Jewish people, you know what the Jewish people, yeah? The people who are Jew. If the Jewish people started worshipping Moses, our prophet, and their prophet, the whole world will say, what's wrong with these people? Someone who came to tell people about God, Allah, and you take that person as God, Moses, alayhi salam. Musa, alayhi salam, was a prophet who came to tell the people, worship nothing but Allah, but God. And if they, if the Jewish people took Musa, alayhi salam, Moses as God, you will say, what's wrong with you? How can you take a prophet of Allah as, Allah as God? This is what happened in Christianity. They have taken a prophet of God as God. Okay, so it's really something that's really heinous crime in the sight of God. Allah does not forgive this kind of sin. If you commit a sin, you know, if you do something wrong and you ask Allah, Allah forgive me, I made a mistake. Would Allah forgive? He will forgive because He is merciful, He's all forgiving. But if you say Allah has a daughter, has a brother, has an uncle, has a wife, has a sister, has a son, you ascribe partners and families to Allah, shirk. not you, yeah, this is called shirk. And these people who do that, and if they die, Allah will never forgive them. Because it's one thing Allah, God, does not forgive. By making someone equal with him, giving him a son or a daughter or a mother or a brother and so on and so forth. Because Allah is self-sufficient. If you're self-sufficient, you don't need, imagine, I'll explain to you what I mean by self-sufficient. Imagine you want to make something, a game in your computer. You know it all, you can program it, you can make a game. You are sufficient by yourself. You don't need your sister, you don't need your mother, you don't need your friends, you don't need your teacher, you can do it yourself. You are sufficient. So when you are sufficient, you don't need anyone else. Because you can do it yourself. Allah is the perfect being. He's perfect in everything. He doesn't need anyone else. Because he's self-sufficient. Because he's perfect. Perfect and self-sufficiency goes hand in hand. So that's someone who says, oh, God had to come down, like the gentleman was saying earlier, you know, he has to come down to you and tell you about, God doesn't need any of these things. In fact, okay, let me ask you. If you know everything, can you then not know it? Your name is Rayan, right? Imagine I don't ever forget. I don't ever forget. I always will know your name. Yeah? So I know, know your name now and I will know your name in the future. Is it possible that 20 years later, for five minutes, I would not know your name when I will know your name all the time? Is it possible to forget your name when I don't forget? If I don't forget at all, can I not know your name? A person who never forgets, can they ever forget? Yeah. Say, I never forget. Rayan, I never forget your name. Then suddenly tomorrow I'm thinking, what was his name? That doesn't make sense. But I don't forget. It's not going to happen. It's not possible, is it? It's impossible. So they are telling you that God, who is all knowledgeable, he, he knows everything. He knows the past, gone. He knows the present, now what's happening. And he knows the future, what's going to happen. And then he comes down. Well, he doesn't come down. He has a son that comes down. He's also like him, God, and he doesn't know everything. And while, while he was all knowledgeable, he knew everything, but he doesn't know everything. Either you know everything or you don't, right? So if you know everything, how can you then not know everything? That's what they're telling us. Now, that is what we are saying is, if you know, you cannot then not know because you don't forget. That is Allah. He's perfect. So anyone who says God comes down and becomes a man, uh, a Palestinian man, and he died for you, but he didn't know when the world's going to come to an end. You as an intelligent, very thinking young man, you will say, this doesn't make sense to me. How can that be? God is all knowledgeable and perfect. And you're saying being perfect, all knowledgeable and all powerful, Someone killed him. And when he was dead, someone else have to give him life back again. Who is this someone if there's only one God? If there is only one God, and that God is gone, who can then bring these people, this God back to life? No one. 
So you have another God. You see how confusing this belief system is. One God dies and another God gives life back again. How can you give life to God? It doesn't make think, sense, does I it? Think Mansour, I think that was the best hour anyway. As you saw, did the Muslim or the Brother Mansur insult Jesus or God or anyone, even all their religion, even once? No. But they they came, they shouted a lot, and they insulted Islam and Allah and the Prophet. This is not how you spread any religion, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think we should say that those are representatives of all Christianity either. Yeah. They either yeah. Way. Anyway, so it's been nice talking to you, and you know, as you are, you know, nodding and answering, you know. I really appreciate your critical thinking. You're thinking very wisely, and you know, that shows a, a, a sign of maturity. Yeah, it really shows that you know you, you're capable of making decisions yourself. You know, you know, making good decisions and so on. So I'm sure your mom will be proud of you. Roman okay. Like they were saying about uh, all the coming. It's public place, right?